now and excitement's mounting with just over 24 hours to go until England's kickoff against the US of A. So, just for a bit of fun, here at ITV Anglia, we contacted our American friends at RF Mildenhall in Suffolk to see if they fancied taking on a local football team as a preview to the real thing tomorrow, of course. Well, they jumped at the chance, I'm delighted to say. The match between the Americans and a team of players from round Mildenhall area, it's well into the second half. Let's get an update now from uh, our correspondent, Emma Baker. Bates, the last time we were with you, it was 3-1. The goals were flying in. What's the, what's the update now? What's the score at the moment? Absolutely incredibly exciting. It is still 3-1 to England, I can tell, Wilsey. We're now into the dying minutes of the match, just the last few minutes. Now, who better to talk to than a man who certainly knows his football? It's our very own Donovan Blake. Donny, just talk us through four goals so far. Uh, no, I was going to say, uh, not expecting four goals when the two sides meet. Uh, although I just see there's another goal for England. Now it's 4-1 to England. But I'm not expecting that many goals when England play the USA in their first World Cup match tomorrow. Let's see some of the action. The first two England goals, both scored by Jason Moore and some of the skills on show today, well, wouldn't look out of place in a World Cup match as well, particularly the second goal scored by Moore. Brilliant skills said before he finished, but uh, uh, both sides then. putting it in. Um, one to England. We're very excited and looking forward to the last few minutes. Donny, thank you very much indeed. Well, what exactly goes on here at RAF Milton Hall? I had the fortunate task of having a day looking around and seeing what life is like on this American Air Force base. From the stars to the stripes. From the cars to the cookies. This is the USA in the heart of our region. Welcome to America. Despite its name, RAF Mildenhall has been a base for the American Air Force since the 1940s. Now with more than 6,000 US citizens calling this place home, it really is a little slice of America. The food, the drink, the shopping. And of course, it wouldn't be real America without their money. Here at RAF Mildenhall, they pay in dollars. Which can buy you an authentic taste of the other side of the Atlantic. Hmm, not bad. For the last 60 years, the American Air Force has happily lived side by side with the Brits. But as the two nations gear up for this weekend's big match, could that all be about to change? The base bar is certainly ready for a big night. I've got 250 square feet of TV in this building. I've got a 50 inch behind the bar, two projection screen TVs around the room, and five around the room as well. It'll be fantastic. You won't be able to miss a seat. But as Al gears up for Saturday night, there's yeah. some on base that have spent the last few days focusing on a match a little closer to home. For us, I think it's one of the biggest games of our lives, uh, especially uh, to get this kind of exposure for, for United States, U.S. soccer, and our base and our community. So we're really excited. Any prediction? Um, I think we're going to take it 5-3. Uh, of course, we always say we're two nations divided by one common language, so let's put the ball to the test. What do you call this? Well, in America, we call it a soccer ball. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. ball. Raised in California, so those are soccer balls to us. <laughs> okay, so we're never going to agree on the name. But there can be only one winner when it comes to playing the game. OK, so we're now in the final few seconds of the match. The whistle is about to go any minute. It's 4-1 at the moment to England. The USA looks like they're losing. And there we go. That is the final whistle. 4-1 to England. So it looks like England won this little match as uh, definitely it uh, has definitely been the England were the better players. Right, we're going to rush over here if we can just uh, keep up with me. We're going to get the two teams here because we have got a lovely trophy. OK, guys, if we can get the England team here and if we can get the American team right, gather round, gather round. OK, so just stay with us. We are now going to be presenting at the trophy, you better person to present it is our lovely Donovan Blake, very own Anglia sports correspondent. Okay, so this is the USA A team here. Well done, guys, I'm afraid it has to be England's day. And here we go. Okay, joyous jubilation, scenes of jubilation here. Okay, Carl, quick chat with Carl, get Carl. Okay, Carl, the captain, is coming over here now. Carl, just a very quick chat. How do you feel? Uh, very good. Hopefully the, um, the international side, senior side, will be able to do it for us tomorrow. You did very well. Well, congratulations. Okay, quick chat with the captain from the USA. Here we go. Mike, I am so sorry. How are you feeling? Uh, could be better, but it's all right. It's a good game. 
Again. You're going to head off to the bar on you. I know you guys do really well. <laughs> we are going to have to wait and see exactly what the real results are in the real thing. I will say the England captain said if he were to lose the match here, he would never play football again. Looks like you have still got a career, Mike. Well done. These guys are all off to the bar. I think I might join them. What a fantastic <laughs> game. It really was. Well, Mike, Thank you so much. That was absolutely brilliant. Oh. Scenes of 1966 and all that in there. Wonderful stuff. Well done, guys. Football was the winner, of oh, course. The if only score that will tomorrow, eh? Yeah. Now our news hour continues at half six. Here's Mark Austin in South Africa. Come up with World Cup started and what sort of weather we're going to have for the weekend of football and for the rest of us, I suppose. Will it be a weekend for the barbecues? Let's find out. Here's Rachel. And that's it from everyone here in the studio mm. and the victorious English team at Mildenhall. <laughs> Let's hope it's an omen for tomorrow night. Yeah. See have you. a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.